Hi! We just got back from our ultrasound. It was the technically the 20 week. I'm actually 21 weeks, 3 days. But we have a super healthy little baby girl. I'm super excited about it. I'm so glad that she's healthy. Her brain, her heart, like everything looks great, they said. So that makes me super happy. She had her heart rate looks good. It sounded good. Um, she is almost a pound and she is just moving like crazy and like stretching and squirming and kicking and everything. I'm just going to show you guys these pictures I took today because I'm obsessing. Her little face. Hold on. That was her heartbeat and stuff. Her little face. She loves having her like little fist in or her hand or something covering her face, like sucking her thumb, something. So then she has, that's where she started to bring her fist up. Sucking her thumb. And there's her little foot. And she is still a girl. So that's good. Because <laughs> we got the early ultrasound or whatever at 16 weeks, 3 days. Said she was a girl. We did the big gender reveal, everything. So super pumped that she's still a girl. Because I've been calling her my baby girl. And we have a name for her and everything already. So that's good. But we are so pumped. She has Matt wrapped already. Uh, we got to, he got to feel her a lot last night. And we actually like saw my stomach jump up last night with her moving. So that was pretty cool. Because that was the first time I've ever seen her do that. So, <clears throat> but she absolutely loves to be stubborn. And not want to move <laughs> and cover her face and stuff. So, but I am... She's probably going to be a lot like me in that aspect of things, but that's fine. She has my facial features. Totally has my, like, like the shape of, like, my nose and chin and stuff. So, that's super cute. I still can't wait to see, like, what she looks like and what features of mine she has and what features she has of Matt's. And we're just so excited to have a healthy little baby girl. Just wanted to update you guys on that appointment because that was a big one. I have to go do my glucose test next time so they gave me a drink that I have to drink like an hour before I get my blood taken or drawn or whatever so that should be fun because I've heard differing stories that it's either good or it's bad and it tastes like some people say the orange is good some people say the orange is bad I have the orange so we'll see how it goes I guess but while I'm filming this, I'm sitting in the parking lot in the car during this big COVID crisis because we need groceries and Matt didn't want me to go in and I don't either. So he is in Kroger getting groceries. So I'm just sitting here. Fun times. I'm hoping this all clears up before she's here in July. So the doctor said she thinks it might. So that's a good thing. So anyway, just wanted to update you guys. So we got baby girl's crib the other day and put it together. So I'm super excited to like show you guys that. So we put together like a little time lapse thing so that you guys could see everything. It was kind of late when we did it so it was kind of dark but oh well. It's okay. canes today because pregnancy craving and you know everything else and uh we come back and on the porch is our package from up a baby and i am freaking pumped to open it and i'm gonna show you guys like all of the stuff that came in and everything and i'm oh, i'm so excited because my mom's like hey expect a package don't ask me what it is it's coming on the 13th whatever and not the 13th, shut up today. And it's the Vista Stroller. So I'm super pumped. So stay tuned.
So it's just gonna be me now recording this because Matt went golfing with one of our friends but um I'm just gonna kind of like review it a little bit and like show you what all it does and everything so like this is obviously with like the bassinet and everything on it which is how we'll be using it for the most part in the very beginning because of how little she is so like the bassinet part we're actually going to be using for her um, bed in our room so we have a stand coming at the end of the month that I'll show to at some point and um so that'll be nice and easy if she's like sleeping and we decide to go on a walk or something I can just pop it on there real quick and go from there and then if we're going into the store or something this will always be in the back of my car and then I can just put her um, car seat on there too because we're getting the up a baby Mesa for her so we just haven't gotten that yet either so um, so I'm just going to show you like different ways to configure it and everything like this button on top right here is what takes this off and then you can pretty much you can configure it any way too like I could put this facing the other way but I won't be doing that because the bassinet is meant to face you so but I'm going to put on the other um, the other seat and show you guys that one. So there's that and then it just comes up like that and then I'll show you so like this comes up for a vent and so you can see them and everything it's really nice I like the magnet and it's not velcro so like if your baby's sleeping or something all of a sudden and like you want to check on them but the velcro you don't want the to open it so I like the magnets that's nice and then it also um, has this extender right here so like if it's really sunny and they're sleeping and you don't want the sun to like if the sun's in a bad spot and it's hitting them you can bring this down and it'll cover them so that's really nice and then this there's a handle back here that you can pull and it adjusts everything so that's really nice and then these buttons right here if I were to press both of them at the same time which I'm holding the camera with one hand so I can't do that but if I were to press both of them this comes up and down and then um, so that's really nice and then you can have this seat facing you too which I'll probably be using too at some point to uh, like in her younger stages and stuff but yeah and then there's like um, bug guards and rain guards so like this bug guard goes on the bassinet and then there's a bug guard for this and then there's a rain cover for this but there's not a rain cover for that which is totally fine by me because I probably wouldn't be going out in the rain with the bassinet part anyway so but I'll put the bug guard and everything on there and then I'll show you all right so um here's the bug guards on both of them it's really nice because it's just like it keeps like if you're walking I'm in the summer and everything with all the nasty bugs out and mosquitoes that like to just I don't know attack you whenever you're like trying to walk and everything so it's really nice because Matt especially gets eaten up by mosquitoes so I'm sure if she like has his blood type or something that they're gonna be all over her too I really don't have that much of an issue but Anyway, these are really nice. I like the I like that they both came with one, so like you know, you didn't have to like try and fit one on the other and everything. So, but they're really nice. And then whenever you have two kids, um we got the that's what's nice about the Vista because the Vista 
has the option to buy the adapters for um, the second seat and everything. So, like, if we have another kid that needs to be in the stroller, this would, like, moves up higher. And you can put the bassinet up here and then get another seat and put it down, down here. And then have both of these seats or a seat and a bassinet or vice versa or two bassinets or you know all of that type of stuff so like if you have twins or anything like that you can configure this thing so many different ways it's amazing and another part that I really like about it is because I'm a short person Matt's tall this adjusts and it has like three or has like four different like settings Mine's obviously going to be on the lowest one, but, you know. So, anyway, super pumped that we got this because I have been obsessed with this thing. I had it on my registry, and um, the grandparents, so, like, Matt's parents and my parents decided to surprise us with it. So, I'm super grateful for that because I'm obsessed with this car, this, this stroller set because, for real, I just like how it's very um, practical because the bassinet part, thats that was part of the reason that I really wanted it because the bassinet I could use, take off and use for her bed in our room instead of buying a bassinet for our room and then having like all this other stuff. This is just like everything in one so it's really nice. But yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Can't wait to take it on a walk. Kind of want to take it on a walk right now, but people are probably be looking at me like I'm crazy because I don't have a baby in it yet, but not going to lie, I did stroll it up and down the driveway, but whatever. Anyway, up a baby vista. Beautiful. And we got ours in the white, so, but it comes in like so many different colors. Beautiful. Super happy. Thumbs up. Another super cool part about this that I didn't show was that this like, zips off and on or whatever so like in the summer obviously you don't need to use it but in the winter this is a nice like added little padded warmth piece to keep the wind off a of baby so that's really nice and then this also this has a pop-up thing too that comes out oops hold on get it uh -huh. for whenever the sun is too high and baby needs to sleep and not be blinded and then there's also on the back of here there's a uh this is unzips and then comes up just like it just kind of sits up here it is a vent for whenever it's hot out and then there's actually also a vent on the underneath that you can um, just like unvelcro or whatever that kind of like vents the underneath of them so they're not like super hot in the summer too. Because that's actually like the um, bedding inside of here is actually pretty uh, pretty soft and, and warm. So, but yeah. So this is actually really cool. I actually did not know that um, the bassinet even came with this like extra piece that pulls out. So that's really nice because I was uh, kind of worried about that. I'm like, what if, you know, the sun's too high for the bassinet and it's blinding them, but that's really nice. Thought of everything, but it's beautiful. I am obsessed. I almost just want to like keep it unfolded and just sit in her room for a while <laughs> which I probably will do so I can just stare at it
All right, guys. Well, that is the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And um, we hope to catch you in our next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.